This is the original skate. This is going to be our skate playthrough. This intro is so awesome. Oh, here we go. This is like the first hippie flip ever in any skate game. I'm actually really excited to see it. Like right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This always blew my mind. I love this game. I love it. So this is going to be our skate playthrough. We're going to be playing skate one, two, three, and four if it has a campaign on this channel starting every Monday. So if you guys want to continue to see these skate playthroughs every Monday, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on post notifications and never miss a video like this. Now, instead of it just be like a sit down and play the game, all the way through straight this is gonna be more of like a cut com style playthrough video i'm just gonna be showing you the best parts throughout the entire playthrough i hope you guys do enjoy without further ado let's start our journey so we have create skater cj and dill shout out my boy dill so we're gonna go to create a skater oh gosh it's the sky the sidekick and we're just gonna do i think we're just gonna do sorable if it lets us sorable yes sir saving sorable skater please don't turn off your xbox 360 console this this start screen has always been one of my favorites if you guys have not seen i actually uploaded a skate 115 years later video my last video if you guys want to go watch it check it out but as you guys see we have a new career to start so let's go ahead and do it unfortunately gonna have to turn this amazing soundtrack all the way down how how heartbreaking and this is the beginning of the rest of sorable's life and at least in the skate games new career and it starts in san vanalona as we all know this is the iconic intro let's go ahead and just watch it i know my boy cowplex gets ptsd every time he sees this he goes down these stairs and then the unthinkable happens big boom boop and then just skate how beautiful yeah you got hit by an ambulance you're like dead or something i'm pretty sure we're about to go through the hospital or something there? yep here we go anyway these skate intros have always been one of the coolest things any video games ever done i want them to do this more i don't know if this song's copyright it probably is so i'm probably just gonna skip through this i love these irl intros so much though I wonder how many of these professional skaters stayed in all three of the skate games, or all four maybe of the skate games? The big old cake. What are you guys gonna do? Big boom, yes sir. Oh no! R.I.P. Big Black. We love that though, that's awesome. That's culture, honestly. Arriving at the hospital. Oh, just kidding, we're at the liquor store. All right, now we're going to the hospital. <laughs> Mike Carroll. There we are, yes sir. Literally just got hit by said ambulance. Yo, Retta, yes sir. No way Miss Ma'am just gave me a sidekick to tell me the information about her. Especially it being uh, that my skate stance, my skate style, and my skate gestures. <laughs> we are goofy in real life, so we're going to stay goofy. Um, I don't know what these do, so we're just going to do normal. And gestures, cool, yeah. And now we are creating our skater, so let's go ahead and do it. That honestly looks about like my body shape, maybe slightly less toned. Crunker's horrible? I'm, a, I'm just going to put it in the middle. I don't know, man. I never really mess with this too much. It, I don't know. It, it always was too confusing for me. The hairstyles weren't amazing in this game. I think we're just going to go with this, unfortunately. Facial hair. I got a, a little stubble. We'll call it that. We need an enjoy hat for sure. Boom. We need an enjoy shirt for sure. Boom. Oh, it's locked. Um, just that one for now. I accidentally just bought basketball shorts, so that's what we're running with. <laughs> the skater low-key looks like my dad. What kind of shoes we got? Nike SB? That's drippy. That's dri that's that's drippy. We got it. And finally, on to skateboard. We love enjoy, so we're gonna do enjoy. Trucks. We don't need fancy trucks right now. Wheels. If I can find some cheap wheels, I don't have any money. Tuning. Let's uh, go about mid for both. And that is my dad, aka our skater for this playthrough. We are gonna change it, of course, but this is the skater for now. Yeah, I don't know if I could show this due to the music. I don't need to sit through this, dude, come on. There is security in this game, so that's gonna make it a little bit more interesting. Yeah, if you guys don't understand the premise of Skate 1, Skate 1 is all about getting sponsored. So Skate 3 is like making your own team. Skate 1 is about getting sponsored by skate brands like Enjoy, Fallen, etc. And I believe we're loading in for the first time with my dad S skater. Do I, I feel like I skipped the tutorial. I don't need to learn how to play and I feel like it'd be wasting time. So let's just skip it. Unfortunately, skip it, skip it, skip. Okay. So I have to do one flip trick, one grab trick and skate for a 15 second. There's a flip trick. Let me go over this thing. There's a grab trick. And now let's just skate for 15 seconds. Let's go, baby. That was a sick glitch. So for some context, I've beaten skate one, two, and three and skate it, but I really haven't beat it since I was like 12 years old. And with skate four coming out, having a lot of skate one and skate two spots, and maybe skate three spots. I wanted to play through skate one, two, and three to see how all of the campaigns really feel, especially in modern day. And I really don't remember a lot of the skate one map and a lot of the skate two map. So I'm really doing this to get myself a huge refresher. Plus I think it's just going to be fun. So we have some new challenges as you you guys can see at the moment we're trying to get to the skateboard mag now we need to go play skate with shingo and do tutorials for nollies i guess body burial yes sir something about this game just feels immaculate i don't know it's like they got the physics like actually perfect on this game 
I really don't like this hollow meat mode. I hate that it stops your game. Anyways, we're here with the Shingo skate. I actually used to have a lot of issues with this, so hopefully I don't now. Shingo looks so weird in skate one. Wanna play skate? Yep, the side cam before was a thing. Okay, let's see what Shingo got for us. And you couldn't land a nollie, my brother. All right, let's make it really hard. Land that, buddy. Good luck. Are you joking? I assume the rest of the skate game is gonna kind of continue like that. So we're probably just gonna fast forward towards the end. All right, now we're at the last letter. Hit the inward heel 360, yes sir. And let's see how Shingo goes against this. Did the trick. And landed it! He's crazy! What about now? You tried, buddy. That's all that counts. Challenge complete! If only it was this easy in real life. <laughs> so we got slightly closer to the skateboard mag, and now we need to follow Shingo somewhere. By the way, I think this would be fun. It depends on how you guys work with it. I'll make you guys a deal. The most liked comment on each video, being of which is closest to each sponsor, I believe the first sponsor is board or wheel or truck. I don't really remember. Shoe maybe. The top like comment in the comment section will be my sponsor. So if you guys want to enjoy and if that gets the most amount of likes, we'll do that. And if not, I guess I'll just pick my sponsors on my own. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I've always despised these follow me. Missions. I think they're so silly like yeah it's really nice for new players but for someone who knows what they're doing knows how to skate around knows where they're going and stuff like that it's just kind of boring to be honest with you and plus I feel like the follow skaters always go slower than you somehow laser flip over the gas grab yes sir nollie no slide kick flip out a little bit sketch quick grind why was that locked in? The tricks in this game just are so satisfying to do. I can't stop doing tricks. It just looks so good. Kick flip, nose manual, ollie, normal manual, ollie into a nose grind, Shingo, get out of the way, nollie, kick flip, we're gonna keep going. 360 flip, super realistic, nose manual, the longest combo in the world. Ollie, tail side, kick. It was a burial, I tried. Hey, we're almost finally to the school. Do I just have to skate to that box? If so, I'm gonna get there before you, buddy. Victory Royale. For some reason, that also got me closer to the skateboard mag photo, just following my boy Shingo. The one thing I really like about this game, it really feels like co uh, co cohesive. In Skate 3, you can really do anything you want in a certain order. It doesn't matter as long as you have a million board sales. In this game, it really seems like they want you to get the skateboard mag, then this sponsor, then this sponsor, then do this. I like the Skate 1 and 2 campaigns a little bit more than Skate 3. I also love the fact that it's like you're making your own team in Skate 3. I I'm really torn. I'd like to make a video on my favorite skate campaign after this. Hit the stairs get 100 points do one grind okay kick flip crooked grind nolly out yes sir boom 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 i feel like that's the the coolest picture i guess now we're closer to the skateboard mag why does it keep on giving me tutorials oh i i can just record right here it's just flashing the little camera right there with the rb while reddit describes me how to get sponsored by the way if this isn't common knowledge in skate one there's a lot of stuff that isn't in the game yet so much of which you can't even get off your board so if you don't see me get off this board my entire playthrough it's because it's impossible all right they want me to get 500 points and do two grinds we can for sure do this baby especially with that much time 360 flip nose grind ollie blunt almost almost have the 500 points so just hit him with that hit him with the, okay that's it cool i wish this would have hit the blunt but the board slides okay as well almost to the almost to the mag we have to do best trick now on on the sidekick shingo i told my mom i'm gonna go to the library and study shingo's a dog i know this is a uh, completely off topic and completely not that important to the skate playthrough it's just crazy to like realize how different of a life was being lived back in 2007 technology wasn't as advanced as it is now the internet wasn't as advanced as it is now we didn't have a worldwide pandemic it's just crazy to think about it honestly cultures change so much so i'm not gonna lie to you i'm pretty sure it told me to uh go there somehow faster i forgot to read so i'm just skating that way oh there it is all oh, the hard work's paid off baby i am not super duper familiar with skate one or two so if i'm not seeming familiar with it it's because i ain't keep that in mind please go through the, the thread the needle yes sir all right now we're doing our first best trick contest in the whole skate franchise these cutscenes look immaculate especially for 2007 it's kind of crazy all right so now i just have to get the best trick i'm assuming they mean best score so this shouldn't be hard unfortunately does it give you multiplier no okay well no one's beating a thousand so 
I'll, I'll be here. I'll see you guys next round. One thing I really like about Skate 1 and 2 compared to 3 is that they actually have like audiences. These are real people. If you guys did not know in Skate 3, they're just 2D images, which you really can't tell unless you go up to them. But these are actual people, which is cool to see. And we're done. Round complete. I won. Please get me to the next one. You advance the next round. Thank you. Round 2. Now we're just on the ledge. This should be a little bit easier to get points on, to be honest. Hit him with that. Boom. 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 That didn't, get, that didn't get me anything. So I think the issue with this challenge is I need to like, uh, okay. I think I need to get the scores on the ledges, which is silly. So grind across that, hit that, boom, 500. Uh, that's one thing I will say to you guys throughout this entire playthrough. I'm gonna try to escape, you know, as I can, as realistically, as interesting as I can. But I'm also relatively decent at this game and these bots are relatively bad. So if it, if it seems like I'm just absolutely destroying, I'm so sorry. Cuz is such a funny guy. I always like actually genuinely enjoyed his commentary in the skate games. Final round. Alrighty. Ultra realistic, baby. Let's head with the reverse. Ollie knows manual. Oh, I was hoping to get a tail slide there. Hit with a Nolly heel 360 tail. Cool. I want to see if I can't hit this reverse. Ollie Nolly. Oh, I just did it with the Smith. That's going to be so clean. Yay. So awkward playing Skate without its music. I'm going to be honest with you. It feels like a completely different game. I feel like the soundtrack really makes these games. Speaking of which, I really hope the Skate 4 soundtrack is fire. Contest complete. Of course, your boy is victorious. I am the winner. So as you guys can see here, we have sponsorship bonus. So when you do stuff like this, you'll get bonuses from your sponsor, from your boards, your shoes, your trucks, and your real sponsors. But as you guys can see, we did get event cash. And now we have $170. And we got a second pop-up. And now we have the Skateboard Mag cover. I don't know if it's gonna bring me there if I'm gonna have to go there. We got a sidekick message and it's Shingo. So Shingo said he got his hands on the skateboard mag and there's a photo of the guy who has the best trick at the contest the other day, which is us. He said we could take a nice long skate over there or we could hit the subway. I'm kind of down for exploring since that's kind of what this playthrough is for me. So we're gonna ride all the way there and maybe we'll do something cool on the way. I honestly think the reg shop will be a really good stopping point for this first episode, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys have any suggestions, ideas, anything, please let me know in the comments down below. And like I said, if you guys like to pick my first sponsor, the most like sponsor i guess will become my sponsor yeah i'd like to become eventually like super familiar with the skate one and two map like i am skate three i could tell you you could show me a small image from any part of the map and i give you a good idea where we're at on skate three you could show me a majority of the skate one map or two i'm pretty lost so project uh get familiar with skate one and two uh campaign area yeah I don't know. I just never really played Skate 2 and 3. I got an Xbox once these games were already pretty old, and then I, I got Skate 3 before that. New spot found. I found a I found a spot on the spot. That is cool. Not going to do it at the moment. Why does it do that? I, I almost... Is that your longest or something? Is that what that is? I don't like that. You know what? Let's actually do this spot spot battle spot on the spot i don't know what they call it i just want to get the most amount of points buddy we're doing this for content all he knows 5-0 hard flip out yes sir knows 5-0 owned hard flip out yes sir very clean just a little bit more progress in the game yes sir 20 spots in sand van own them all and you get a custom crook board Ooh, we might have to do that it really depends on how this playthrough goes but i almost kind of want to like 100 percent each game like do everything side quest main quest everything in each game let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below i feel like the skate one world is just so real i don't know how to explain it like this could be a city that's near me in skate three I really feel like it's not that realistic, like the area around you. And I know it's not necessarily supposed to be, but like this could be like 20 miles from me and I would believe it. You know what I mean? Skate 2 is relatively believable as well. But like if you are in a huge city, which I, I live in rural Missouri, so the best things I see is deers and trees. I, I love this map though so much. I, one thing I adore to see in Skate 4 is the Skate 1, 2, and 3 maps remastered inside of Skate 4. Whereas carving, cruising, carving, cruising. Riding around in this game, I will say it feels amazing another spot i must do it that's gonna be the rule for uh each playthrough or just this playthrough or any of them that has like the on the spots like this if i see something i have to hit it it's the rules so the issue here is i can't get up those stairs so i'm just gonna have to that's unfortunate bro every npc is in the way right now why did why did the skate games do this Bro, does that count? That was weird. I didn't even mean to do that. It just kind of landed like that. I wish I could have stayed up there, but that's another spot. Owned. Two out of 20. Own the spot. We did it. So I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know if it's because I'm in the spot area, but I don't see the regs anymore. Okay, there it is. It's because I was in the own the spot area. That's 
kind of interesting to be honest i love the verticality of the skate one map as well i love all of these hills and it seems like skate four has a lot of these hills as well so i'm excited to see stuff like that Ooh, i i recognize this area hey skate three how you doing i know it's dark gallery from skate one but hey i actually haven't skated this area too much in this actual game but i've skated it a million times inside of skate three ollie nose manual kick the street Ooh, that was clean we're almost to the reg shop which actually is going to be at the art gallery i technically knew how to get there the entire time but I got to explore at the same time. This has been really, really cool. And I'm actually really, really excited to do more of this playthrough. So I really hope you guys do enjoy. Take a left. And there she is. We're going to ollie up and hopefully just do it. Okay, now we're in the reg. Hey. Saw your photo on skateboard, Mac. Did you? Thanks, man. That's me. Yep. Demo. So they're inviting us to come skate. So as we can see here, we are done with the skateboard mag. I believe this is like kind of like the whole timeline for the game. At least it seems that way. And this was us. New challenges. We have the jam, the Jubba jingle jam. So now we're on our way to our second magazine cover. So even though we do have the jingle jam, jam, jam to do, as I said, I think there's going to be a perfect spot to end off this first playthrough. And like I said, we'll continue this next Monday and each Monday until we're done with all of the skate games, including skate four, if it does have a campaign. So like I said, a few times this video, if you guys have any suggestions, ideas, anything, please let me know. And if you guys want to see a specific sponsor, make sure you vote for it in the comments down below. But this has been a ton of fun. I'm actually really excited to see how this playthrough goes. I haven't played this game since I was like 13, so I'm really excited to see how it goes. I've played the game, just not the campaign, to make that clear. And this game just feels so amazing, and I can't wait. So I hope you guys are enjoying the playthroughs. Like I said, if you want to continue seeing more like this, make sure you guys go to and subscribe and turn on post notifications. And I think that's going to do it for our first skate playthrough. Game feels super good, super smooth. We love it, and we're excited for the future of this playthrough and to see what happens. But until next time, that's as far as we got into Skate 1. Thank you guys so much for watching this video once again. And as always, it's been your boy, CJ, or Sorable, and I'll see you guys in the next playthrough. Peace out.